Hey, it's Mike Corso from Cool Side of the Day, and I've got Sam Deskin from SamFind, who created a very cool Firefox add-on called SamFind. And uh, welcome, Sam, first of all. Hi, Mike. Thanks. Um, and I should just tell the people who are watching this right now that when we sat down a couple of weeks ago to do this uh, little demo, uh, we went on for like 30 or 40 minutes. We just completely lost ourselves and went way too deep into add-ons and way too deep into Sam Fine because there are a lot of great things. But let's just get right to it. For those, um, for those who are not using Firefox, I highly recommend Firefox. It's a great browser. And one of the reasons I love um, Firefox is because if you go to the Tools menu up here, and you go to add-ons, you can add a lot of cool um, like uh, third-party apps and utilities onto your browser. So um, if you look at my list here, I've just got a, I've got you know, probably a couple of dozen add-ons that uh, make Firefox just wonderful. But anyway, um, Sam, tell me about what SamFind does and let's uh, give a little demo. Well, thanks for the intro, uh, Mike. I uh... I made Sam find uh, so because it was uh, I had a problem getting to the websites uh, that that I use all the time. I I constantly found myself going to the URL bar, typing things in, and then forgetting which websites that that I like to go to. And thought it would, it would be nice to have a way to be able to get to these websites uh, very quickly, very easily on my bookmarks bar. And as as you can notice on your bookmarks bar above your Sam find bar. Uh, you've got a list of maybe 10 or 15 different websites going across the entire bar. Right. And, and right. it just seemed inefficient. It didn't seem like, like you know, I, I use many more websites than 10 or 15 websites. So I wanted a way to be able to organize the websites I use and, and keep them all handy and have more functionality, frankly. So I, I built a way to be able to... Uh, use and integrate my my social websites that like being able to dig websites and email websites to a friend and and I uh, get access to uh, Facebook by posting things onto Facebook and also be able to search into any of the regular websites that I use so just searching into Google or searching into uh, into CNN to find some news or get over to my banking websites so I, I found a way to be able to put all these things together in one place so that it's easy to get where I wanted to go. Okay. And so I thought the, the most important thing about all this is to make it completely customizable because I knew that, that although I would like it set up one way, I knew other people would want it set up a different way and, and other people would want to have different social websites and, and have, have websites that were, that were important to them to be able to access. And so the, the first most important thing was to make it customizable. So if you don't use social websites, you don't have to have any social websites on here. Uh, if you are not into uh, music, you can turn off the music websites. And you can add or remove any of, of about 15 different topics that, that I've got pre-configured. Or you can integrate all the websites that you've got in your bookmarks toolbar right into the SamFind bookmarks bar. I guess we can we can start looking at, at the way this this browser uh, and the bookmarks bar sort of integrate with the different websites that are out there. So uh, if you if you look on the left, I know you you like Digo because the first social browser or social uh, website that I see on the top left is Digo. Right. And so if you click on the Digo button, you could share this page uh, with Digo. And and it's uh, it's set up to be to be integrated with Digo, so that with a click of a button you can share something onto Digo. You can add a new bookmark to Digo. Okay. Uh, and this is the same setup is also set up for Facebook, Dig, Reddit, and about forty other social websites. Any of the ones that have any kind of user following, uh, you can set uh, see here that you can also tweet. I. Uh, you can type anything you want in there and, and send it right through onto Twitter. Which I'm doing uh, right now. We are creating a Firefox uh, add-on demo featuring SamFind. And I hit uh, or hit return to... And that was successful and that's out. Okay. There you go. And then if you want it will send you to the Twitter website so you can see that as well. So. Um, 
All right, so that's the social site. If you don't use social, you can turn it off. No big deal. Uh, there's also uh, on the right side of the bar, on the right side of the of the search box, uh, there are all the websites that you customize and you put in as you want. Now you can integrate the websites that you've already got on your bookmarks bar, the one that's that's above uh, the Sam Fine bar, uh, or you can <coughs> excuse me, or you can just use the ones that we've got set up. Now with any of these websites, you can search into them. You can uh, read RSS feeds. So, for example, if you were to click on news on your on your browse on your bookmarks bar, right there. Yep. Uh, you see that Google News pops up, Dig pops up, CNN, uh, Delicious, BBC, Reddit, and Economist. All of these websites have RSS feeds. So, if you were to click on the RSS feed for any one of these websites. Uh, so, for example, click on the yeah the Economist RSS feed. You can get to the RSS feeds of any website straight from the fra straight from the bar. You can click on on the Economist, and you can get to the Economist website. Or you could do a search for cool sites on Dig and uh, and get right to your search using Dig's own search results. Very cool. So why don't you go ahead and and do a. Uh, do a search for for cool sites on Dig. Let's see if anybody's dug you. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to. Well, first I wanted to see what is the RSS feed for Dig. It's just okay. What's popular right now? Right. Then and, and that constantly changes. So as as new things are popular, it it is uh, it brings up the latest things that are popular. If you're at work and don't want to make it obvious that you're looking at Dig all day long, you can just check the RSS feed every once in a while. Right. Okay, so if I click on Dig, which just opened up now, um, it takes you there directly. And you want me to type in your search box up here, right? Right. Um, cool site of the day. Sure. Okay. And then you can you can uh, press Dig, you can press Google News, you can press Google, and uh, and you can see that I. Uh, all right, so you press cool, uh, Dig News, and you can see that this is the search for Cool Side of the Day on uh, Google News. Right. There you go. On CNN, there is something. Right. Okay. So okay. there you have it. Very neat. Very so neat. this this is a, a bookmarks bar like the one you have on your Firefox uh, system, but it's one with a lot more functionality. Uh, you have a way to be able to access the websites you use and to to interact with the websites you use. A meaningful way to be able to search with them and to be able to actually uh, integrate uh, your your uh, social websites with your bookmarks bar. It's it's your bookmarks bar on steroids, as we like to say. Very nice, very nice. I was just typing in a search uh, for a pitch count because I'm opposed to baseball's pitch count. So it's neat to see. Uh, I can see the results on any of these news sites by just clicking on the icon of that news site and being brought to right. anything related to the topic I'm searching for. This is uh, this is really fantastic. Um, uh, what are the uh, what's the future for Sam Find? How uh, how wide and far is this thing going to spread? Well, we we have some actually some pretty cool uh, uh, things coming up. Uh, one of them uh, is a way to be able to uh, see the widgets that are on a lot of websites directly from the bar. So right now you see RSS feeds, but the next the next step is to make it so you can access, for example, the Dig widget or the uh, the widget for Yahoo News. And and with that, you'd be able to actually uh, see everything in the format that Dig creates it and be able to dig things, uh, articles, straight from the bar uh, in a way that's much more interactive than it even is right now.